Ouch. No! <gasps> Wait, this truck has no drivers. How do we give this truck a driver? Maybe the H2B Visa can help? Wait, is there also an EB3 green card? Oh, oh yeah, there is. Let's talk about it after the break. Hey everybody, my name is Damien DeNoble. This is Frontier Tech Law. We're talking about options for truck driving companies that need to bring in workers from abroad. How do we do it? Well, one thing you might consider is the H2B visa. The H2B visa is not for all trucking companies, uh, but it is a good option because you can bring in workers from Mexico, which have CDL licenses that are recognized in the United States. You can bring them in from other countries that are uh, part of the H2B program, but just know that your workers are going to have to get a CDL license, which will eat into the time that they can actually work inside of the United States. You can also bring in helpers for the truck drivers themselves, uh, but that is you know, something that you may or may not need. What's the issue? The issue is that most trucking companies right now, if you're talking about the global shortage in truck drivers, um, need year round help. The H2B visa is very much a temporary uh, help visa, although truck drivers have been uh, you know, successfully petitioned for in the last few cycles. But you do need to show a peak load or seasonal need, which means that you need to be able to show that your business is somehow different in terms of its needs for drivers in let's say the spring, summer, fall season than it might be the rest of the year. Some people can show that, some people can't. If you are mainly, let's say, a driver, um, uh, an agricultural driver regionally, where you might have a greater load of a certain type of crop over the summer, H2B visa might be for you. However, this H2B visa usually is best suited for trucking companies which are local, right? So that they can show uh, more clearly uh, a need. Why can they show more clearly? Well, typically, if you're a local trucking company, you know what your business is in particular uh, part times of the year. Whereas if you are a long haul driver, I mean, you know, you're, you're, you're sometimes not gonna know where you're gonna be driving from in one location until you get there. And it's really hard to show uh, uh, your business you know, predicted out over over a certain period of time. So H2B visas are an option. Uh, and again, Mexico is the country for it. It's better for local than for long haul. And it's something that's gonna be on a, you know, sh can, has to be shown on a business to business uh, basis. The other visa to consider if you have more time is the EB3 visa. This is an actual green card, so it offers legal permanent resident status to those who get it. Uh, they're a little backlogged right now, so it's, you know, 14, 20 month wait to get it. So it definitely needs to be part of a longer strategy. The advantage is if you bring in EB3 workers, they're not temporary, they're here to stay. And so in theory, if you maintain a good relationship with them, you know, they can stay with you for a long time and help grow your company. So H2B, EB-3, those are the two uh, visa types for truck drivers. Are there special considerations to keep in mind? Again, the main one is that uh, there is a nationwide shortage of drivers. There's a global shortage. You can't just go in and state that as the reason that you need an H2B visa, but it might very well be a good reason for the EB3, which again is not seasonal. So could you do both? You absolutely can do both. You're gonna have to show the, uh, still gonna have to show the kind of seasonal peak load need, maybe one time need, on the H2B visa, and you're gonna to have to think about the timing issues for both of those um, as they affect your application. So this can get complicated, subject of a different video, but I get a lot of calls about uh, visas for truckers, so I just wanted to put out this video for those of you who want more information. If you wanna set up a consult, there's a link in the uh, bio below, uh, Calendly link, you can set up a free 15 minute consult. I'm happy to talk to you through it. All right, thanks so much. If you made it this far, go ahead and like and share, and I look forward to uh, talking to you. Bye.